Hey, what's up guys? This is David Letterman and <laughs> I'm actually thinking of doing every every gameplay like that. Like ne c tune in next month and I'll be Adam Sandler. Yeah. Got a new thing. Anyways, what's up guys? This is Jason Statham and today what I've got for you guys is just a little gameplay, uh not to mention uh, me talking about something I've been talking about quite a lot lately um just because uh, this is a big thing in the community, uh, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be talking about the uh, whole problem with supply drops. Um, earlier I went over the whole problem with, um, you know, Call of Duty Ghost becoming the next thing, and I did go over uh, supply drops pretty rapidly though, and I didn't get to explain everything that I had wanted to say, um, and, you know, of course, I, I did explain to you guys that the whole supply drop thing was implemented by Activision and that, you know, Treyarch and Sledgehammer really didn't have, uh, any say-so. Uh, in them doing this, um, even though I can guarantee you, you know, they were probably saying, eh, whatever, but I've actually gotten some new news, uh, as repeated as that sounds, um, of something quite interesting, and, uh, a really reputable source, um, recently, uh, well, I was watching a YouTube video, and he, this dude found an article where, uh, well, David Vonderhaar was basically in an interview, and he was talking to, I don't know who it was, but, um, but he was basically saying how he doesn't like the, the supply drops. Now, I sound, I know that I don't sound like a very reputable source, but honestly, why would I lie? What do I have more to do than, wh what kind of a loser would I have to be that I would have nothing more to do with my life than lie to 30 people who watch our YouTube videos? Like, really, think of that, okay? So... I can guarantee you that as long as my sources were telling the truth, I'm telling the truth. Um, but, let's go back into this. David Vonderhaar was in an inter interview and he was saying that he doesn't really like the whole supply drop thing. Now, of course, David Vonderhaar being that he is working with Activision and Activision is basically Treyarch's boss. If you, It's supposed to be a partnership, but you can call it... The, the, they're, they're funding Treyarch to do this, so it's basically... It's basically, you can pretty much just say that uh, Treyarch is working underneath Activision. It's kind of like that. But Activision implemented these supply drops. They told Treyarch and Sledgehammer to put them in. Of course, Sledgehammer, you know, Sledgehammer, it was the first time ever. And the reason why they put it in Sledgehammer is just to make, you know, the game get, it, it was to make the game get more people involved, you know. Ghosts was before um, Sledgehammer's Advanced Warfare. And it, ghosts, as we all know, and I've talked about this several times, and I don't mean to be so repeat, you know, repeating, but um, ghosts flopped. It did not do well. Now, yes, it was the number one game of uh, its year, but it still didn't do as well as it could have. Um, so they wanted to come up with something that would make people want to get into it, and that's where this whole gambling type of thing comes in. As you, as I've talked to you guys before, gambling is an addiction. And so, they decided to put in supply drops, which is basically just gambling for new things. Now, Advanced Warfare, with the different types of guns you could have, which were all put into the very first uh, part of the game. I'm not even talking about just the DLC weapons like the STG-44 or the SVO or anything like that. I'm talking about just the regular things like the BAL-27 Obsidian Steed, the uh, the AK-12 Finger Trap, the, uh, you know, every everything that was put into it. There were a lot of guns that if you did not have, you were at a disadvantage because a lot of other people did have them. Now, that was kind of a bad idea, um, but at the time, nobody knew that. So that's why all of these supply drops didn't really go noticed at first. Um, I remember when Advanced Warfare came out, we had heard about supply drops, but we didn't understand them. We didn't... We didn't quite have the exact definition of what the supply drops would be. We figured it might be like CSGO, but we we didn't <laughs> we didn't we didn't get it. Nobody had explained it. I, I think CSGO had came out at the time. There were there are several games out that have the same thing, but uh we basically thought it was going it's the same type of thing as the CSGO things. Um just a simplified version if you can think of that. I'm going off on a different subject. But basically Try what I liked that I heard was that David Vonderhaar did not uh, stand up for these supply drops. He didn't say, oh yeah, everyone, go out and buy fucking $100 worth of supply drops and make sure that you also uh, buy an extra 20 because this weekend we're going to have... No, he, 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 
said it how it is, but in the way that he was capable of doing so without getting fired. He said that he does not enjoy, uh, or he does not like the supply drops because, here's the thing, he told them that they need to find some way to get rid of them because, as we all know, David Vonderhaar, he is the punching bag of the Call of Duty community, and I feel bad for the dude. Every time someone's doing a supply drop opening and they're saying, Vonderhaar, come on. Give me this, give me that. Now you may think, oh, it's a simple joke. He can take it. He's just, you know, he, he, why wouldn't he be able to take that? Well, when you think about it, he's got people on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, over the game, in YouTube. Everybody is saying, oh, come on, Vonderhaar, you faggot. Why didn't you give me what I wanted? David, come on now. David Vonderhaar, really? You couldn't give me that kill? David Vonderhaar, I wanted the STG, not the STG, but you know what I'm saying. He's, he's basically... It's really easy to put all your problems on one person when you don't know everyone else that goes into it. David Vonderhaar is just one person that people know about. They don't know about all the people, all the people in Activision who are talking about it, and uh, all the different things that that, that uh, go into the supply drops. People only know that David Vonderhaar is a part of Treyarch, even though Treyarch didn't start the supply drops. So it's. I know it's an ongoing joke, but it does sound ignorant in a way. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about was, um, in my last video, I wanted to start saying that people should... That dude just disappeared? Did I kill him? That was really weird, and I don't know why I don't remember that. Uh, but anyways, um, oh, fuck, what did I just say? I have the hardest time with memory. Oh yeah, okay. So last um, last video with my whole space warfare uh, video, I had talked about. I, I wanted to talk about the you know people should stop paying for supply jobs because if you stop paying for the things that they're coming out with, the more likely they'll go away because they're not making money off of something. Um, so chances are that uh, you know that's the best way to fix um, that problem. You know. Uh, but I have such a small voice in my community that I figured I might as well not even say it because really who's gonna listen to a person who's only got 115 supply, uh, supply, uh, supply drops, <laughs> uh, subscribers. Um, it just wouldn't be reasonable to say so, so I just kind of left that out of the video because I figured nobody would listen to that. But, um, someone else who was actually a lot bigger, uh, created a new thing, it's called, um, uh, fucking, I don't remember, oh, it was Black Market Blackout. Um, and that's been going around for a while, and if, what, what it basically is, is you, you basically get a bunch of people to not buy any of the supply jobs, and that's what Black, uh, Black Market Blackout is, it's just, no one buys supply jobs anymore. Um, now this has just started, so I don't know how effective they're being, but, um, if they can get this rolling, I can guarantee that we might have, <laughs> we might have results sooner than later maybe by the third dlc because i can guarantee you they're too fucking slow to do it by the second dlc but maybe by the third dlc they'll actually give us what we want now if we're lucky enough that we get it by second dlc which is coming april 16th then i think it's 16th so don't don't cite me um that would be awesome but i don't know i really don't know um anyways that's really all I have to, uh, that's kind of all the news you could call it, but also it's something a part of something that I'm passionate about. I really don't like the black market. I'm very strongly against it. Uh, I think it's gambling. I think it should be illegal. Uh, gambling in real life with real money is, is illegal, and you're actually getting something uh, valuable out of it. But in a game, all you're getting is virtual things that are valuable in the game. So it's really... It, it would sound stupid to a person that doesn't understand, but for us, it's something that we love. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys for today. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace. They're coming.